What's up, man? It's your boy King Lot TV, man. Today, this is a very special day. We got two things to do today. We're going to test drive the Sprinter van, buying a new Sprinter van for my Sprinter van business. You know what I'm saying? Got to up the numbers to deal what I'm saying. And also, we're going to test drive a car for me. For just for motivational purposes. Because after I buy this Sprinter van, that Sprinter van is going to allow me to buy a car. One thing about it, guys, in life, one thing about it. You don't want to buy liabilities before you buy assets. You want to buy assets to pay for your liabilities. And an asset, it don't necessarily have to be real estate. It don't necessarily have to be something that's bringing you in money. It can just be something that holds value. So if you ever need some money, you know what I'm saying? You can, so say like, say, say you buy a watch, plain Jane Rowley, a regular gold Rolex, bruh. Regular gold Rolexes, silver Rolexes, they they don't necessarily lose value, man. So you can buy that if you if you want to if you like jewelry, you buy you something that appreciates some value, kinda. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, kind of off topic. Back to the Sprinter van. Yeah, man. So just a slight little test drive video. I'm gonna educate y'all a little bit, and y'all go check out the King Lot TV channel because we got nice vlogs on there, and y'all can see how I live my lifestyle. See how a young entrepreneur like me goes about his day. You know what I'm saying? At 21 years old. Working for yourself, big. But anyways, we finna get this uh vlog up and popping. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, 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 But anyway, man, we finna get this vlog up and popping, man. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hit the like button, please, please, bro. That's all I ask, bro. Just please hit the like button. Hey man, don't jump on me, bruh. I just want them to hit like button, Kilo. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Stay. Under. Good boy. Pa. Good boy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And that's how you train your dog. But yeah, man. Let's go. Yeah, I see that right there, y'all. We driving that next, man. We're right now. We are in this guy named Pro Master. My dog is out here. And this is what it's looking like back here. Not too big, but it looks like you can get about two pallets back there. About two pallets. You know what I'm saying? I'm test driving this for the 30 bands. 30 bands. Yeah. No lights on. Bet not be. Yeah, man. It's looking pretty nice in here. It's pretty clean. Got the backup camera. Good air quality, boy. Yeah. We used to drive these back at uh, our Hurts days, man. I feel like I'm driving to school, but it's big. You can slow down in the parking lot, goddamn. I, I don't like how the, um, the pedal. It's good to see that. There you go. Got a bounce. See, that's it. Yeah, man, so the reason I didn't start my Sprinter van business is because my dog right here behind the camera, you know what I'm saying, he, he put me on the trucking game, and I seen, like, you know, I didn't want to really get my CDL and dive deep into the trucking business because the startup cost for, the startup cost for that stuff is expensive, bro. It's like, my man's paying almost four bands for insurance, bro. That is crazy. But either way, so the cargo van, with this option, you can have a cheaper insurance option. You can pay anywhere from, uh, I want to say probably $1,200 $1, to $3,000 a month for one or two uh, trucks with probably one or two drivers, depending on how your credit is. Let's see what them brakes looking like. Yep. <laughs> them brakes looking good, baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> the depending on how your credit look like and how many... Uh, uh, accidents you got, how many drivers you got. Um, that's what your insurance is gonna be. The insurance and the payments on this van will probably total me anywhere from three thousand to four thousand dollars a month. But you have to look at it. You can make a thousand dollars a day with this business. So if I work four days a week, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, you feel that little boost? That bit jerking. Yeah. Making some horsepower. This is the uh, Ram Pro Master fifteen hundred, by the way, y'all. What you was telling them about the thousand dollars a day? Oh, 
um, yeah, you can make a thousand dollars a day off of this business. Uh, really, all you gotta do is you have to go on the load boards. You can go on apps such as Amazon Relay, Dolly, uh, Shipley, um, Uber Freight, and uh, some apps they offer post a truck. Post a truck is when you uh, pretty much set your minimum that you want to get paid for a load. So you can put a six hundred dollar minimum, and that night it might send you a load for like six fifty. And uh, so the best way to run the business, because it's a business. This thing is not a game. You know, you can't get finesse. People will tell you that you got like a, um, sometimes I heard this one story, this dude said that he had, they said that it was two boxes and they gave him a whole truck for you. Like, what, 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 what? The, the way to run it is you, you book one or two loads, depending on how big your loads are. You can book one or two loads per, per trip. So say I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, say I'm going to Orlando two hours out. You know what I'm saying? I book two loads there. Say each load is five hundred dollars. Okay, that's a thousand dollars going there. And then I book two loads back or a load back coming back to Jacksonville. That's fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars for that day, just in that one day. You know what I'm saying? And it's only a two-hour drive, so that's only four hours in total. Probably about five or six hours of work. And you made it two bands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but hey, man, this thing driving good. I ain't gonna cap. It's looking pretty good on the inside. We got, um, I think this one, this one got 50, 50 on the dash. I can't see it right now. 50 on the dash? Yeah. Well, how fast that bitch going? Not 70,000 miles. Oh. I just heard the brakes squeak a little bit too. So we definitely gonna have to uh, get that thing serviced. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see what the tire is on this thing looking like. That's a nice little smooth ride. Backup camera, radio. Smooth. Oh, it's gonna be better than this thing. Yeah, you can turn the screen on and off. Screen on and off. Nice little brakes. Yeah. Nice little brakes on the empty load. Uh -uh. Yeah, man, so that's, a tr that's the uh, cargo van business. Cargo van business is similar to the box truck business. Box trucks is just it's a little bit more expensive on the insurance hand and the box truck itself. And it takes, uh, but with the box truck, you can make a lot more money. You can make uh, bigger loads because you can hold more space. This thing is looking pretty small, but I ain't gonna cap. But we gotta start off small to begin with. So two pallets of load, you feel me? And we're doing local loads. And I think the furthest I'm gonna go is probably like three hours off and then three hours back. Go to Miami, my nigga. Probably once, if, if I can get a nice little amount for that, and then I might, you know, buy some durian and uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's a little staycation, you know, yeah. You feel me? Some content for the King Lotta TV channel. Stay tuned to King Lotta TV, man. That's my main channel. We're going up on there. Cars, goddamn vlogs, tanks, challenges, everything. You feel me? So y'all subscribe. Y'all like and subscribe. B-I-G. You feel me? And see the way.